my friends let's do a love reading love reading time i want to see what is coming towards you in love um so let's just have a look we have the fool are you ready leap into the unknown um so somebody may be taking a leap of faith towards you or you may be having a fresh start with someone very interesting on the bottom we have death one door closes another opens and we have judgment, so there could be some kind of conversation. Um, we'll have to see what comes out, but we're going to have a look at what's coming towards you. If you're feeling called to stay, we have the chariot. What the heck? Forward movement. Beautiful. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's four major arcanas. Something big. Something big is coming. Hmm. Interesting. Blue Jay. We have the Hierophant. Um, so marriage, commitment, higher level of commitment, spiritual evolution. Um, very interesting. Let's see what's coming towards you in love. What's coming towards you in love, my friend? We've got a card right away. We've got the Page of Pentacles. New direction. Um, a new beginning. Fresh start. Page of Pentacles. What is this about, though? What is this about? I have a feeling, but we'll see. We have Temperance. Something coming into balance. Um, perhaps, um, I knew it. I told you I had a feeling. Um, I'm hearing that I've got a feeling by the black eyed peas. Um, very interesting. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. This doesn't feel new to me. And I just heard a bunch of people go, oh, gee, um, I was, ha I was getting this energy of a restart, a fresh start. Someone, you know, someone from your past. I know, I know. Um, we have temperance and the four of wands here. I, if I've like... That screams union. I'm sorry. That screams union, reconciliation, four of wands and temperance, the balancing of feminine and masculine energies, a new direction in a four of wands energy, you know, maybe a new direction and a counterpart connection. Take it as it resonates. Um, very interesting. 1111 harmony, stability, celebration. So... Let's see who this is. This could have been someone who had you had a codependent connection with. Um, let's see who this is. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers and the Ten of Wands. So this is someone who you hit a breaking point with. This is someone where there was an ending, Ten of Wands. This was a connection where it felt like the weight of the world was on your shoulders. Um, it felt you know, stressful, and there was probably an ending here. Um, could be Gemini energy. Maybe this person chose someone else over you. Take it as it resonates. Um, this person wants a new beginning with you. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have the lovers. So it could be a divine love connection. Temperance, the four of wands, and lovers. And the ace of pentacles. Fresh start. When one door closes, another opens. Remember the beginning. Um, that is interesting energy. Let's get a, one more for who this is. Who is this? We have the hermit. So someone who's been isolating from you. Could be a Virgo. All the major arcanas that are coming out are intense, my friend. Um... You know who this is. The answers are within. You know who this is. You already know. This is someone who wants to bring answers to the situation. They want to shed some light on the situation. This is someone who, for who this is, this is someone who caused you to reflect and grow. I feel like they've reflected and grown. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what does this person want with you? That's what I want to see. What does this person want with you? To show you a new perspective of them. Another major arcana. 
death. They want a rebirth. They want a new opportunity with you. They want a fresh start. They want to change things. I'm hearing I want to do it differently this time. Perhaps a different perspective, hanged man. So they want to show you a different perspective of them. They want to show you how they've transformed. Eight of Pentacles, renewal. They want a renewal with you. How is this person feeling about you? We have the Knight of Wands, excitement, passion. Ten of Wands, they can't let you go. They haven't been able to forget about you. This person's Knight of Wands energy could have caused a lot of blockages in this connection, a lot of burdens. They could have been very inconsistent, very hot and cold, very up and down. And we have the Two of Cups, so they still feel this connection with you. Partnership, romance, unity. Nightmare Before Christmas could be symbolic. That reminds me of Jack and Sally in front of the moon. Um, Queen of Swords for how they feel about you. Look at this. Um, boundaries. So they could feel like you have your boundaries up. Truth detector, intelligent and direct. So they could feel like you're being quite cold with them. They could feel like you're being cold and detached with them, that you've let them go. Um, but they still have love for you here. Let's see their intentions. No, I already asked. Let's see their actions. What action will they take? Remember, this was coming towards you. King of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. Very interesting. Um, Ten of Pentacles. This is their action towards you. Happily ever after starts here. Solid foundation, happiness, success, and abundance. And what's coming towards you? The Four of Wands, Temperance, the Lovers. Um, happily Ever After starts here. That sounds like a proposal. And we have King of Wands taking action. This person taking action towards you, making a move. Um, having the determination to come towards you. Maybe your person's a firefighter. And we have the moon. All will be illuminated. So this person is going to illuminate the truth to you. They're going to let you know how they really feel. There could be a confession of some sort. Um, very, very beautiful. What do you need to know about this? What do you need to know about this situation? The Empress. What? I feel like... I feel like you, this person views you as the empress. I feel like this could be a divine counterpart connection. I feel like this person is drawn to you right now. I feel like the fact that, you know, you're attracting, you're not chasing is really calling this person in. Um, this person, you know, wants a new beginning. The empress, the four of cups, what you need to know, this person feels like you're a missed opportunity. The Empress and the Four of Cups, like they had their chance and they messed up. Um, I'm hearing nobody else compares to you. This is someone who's feeling very unhappy without you and unhappy with how this situation played out. What does this person want you to know? That was what you need to know. What? What? The Emperor. Not every reading I do is like this. I just did two other readings that were not like this. Um, for what you need to, what this person wants you to know, we have the Emperor, successful, cur courageous to take action. So this person wants you to know they're going to take action. Four of Wands and Temperance in your, didn't I say I was hearing reconciliation? So this person wants you to know that they are waiting until they hit, you know, a certain level of success or courage to take action towards you. They know they need to take action. Um, an eight of cups, end of a cycle, new direction. This person wants a new start with you. Um, the end of a cycle, when one door closes, another opens. This is about a different approach here. This person doesn't want to repeat the same mistakes that happened in the past is what I'm hearing. I was not expecting that. Hang on. I'm going to get you another deck. Hang on. Um, I'm just going to grab another deck I have. I'm running out of battery. Interesting. I'm just going to grab this deck. Movement on the bottom. 
Um, I just wanted to see what was going on here in this situation because this, what? What? Reunion. This is intense energy. I was just saying, I just want to see what's going on here because this feels like reconciliation and I cut right open to reunion. So, movement, reunion. Wow. Four of Wands, wow. Um, so I just want to see what's going on here, what Spirit wants us to know about this situation. Let's get some confirmation here. So, Spirit, what's going on here? Reunion, like, twin flames. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Emperor and Empress came out, remember? This is beautiful. Let's see what we need to know about this. We have transformation. There's been a transformation. And your transformation has encouraged this person to transform. Ripple effect. There's been a transformation. I don't chase, I attract. You, Empress Energy, caused this person to transform. We have time and space was needed. Time and space was needed in this situation in order for that transformation to happen. I feel union, what? Seriously, um, I feel like that transformation couldn't happen when the two of you were together. And we have union, reunion, coming into union. Um, this is intense. This is intense. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Inner child healing. So I feel like that must have been huge here. We have spying, keeping an eye on you. Inner union. Oh my gosh. So inner child healing needed to happen here, probably on both sides. Maybe, maybe just on your side, maybe just on your person's side. I'm feeling both. And we have uh, inner union, love yourself. So before, I feel like before coming into union, you had to learn how to love yourself. This person had to learn how to love themselves. And I feel like both of you are embodying this energy and that's why you're coming together. My goodness. <laughs> you know, this person could be watching you come into union with yourself. Remember that butterfly and the caterpillar watching the butterfly. So this person could be watching you heal and evolve and they're just, you know, mimicking you. They're mirroring you. Let's just get a couple more and then I'm going to end this reading. We have healing. Oh my gosh. Children could be a factor here. Religion could be a factor. Right person, wrong time. So there needed to be a separation here so that both of you could grow up is what I'm hearing. And I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about like growing up like you were young when you met. I meant evolving um, spiritually, healing. We have right person, wrong time, and then we have acceptance. So this is something you needed to accept that you couldn't force it into a little box. You couldn't make it happen and you needed to release it. I don't chase, I attract. Look at this. We have healing. So both of you healing, coming back together on the same frequency. Anyway, I just can't believe that. Again, I've done a few other readings today and they were not like that. <laughs> Um, that is beautiful. I'm actually feeling called to get you a few of these now. What is going to come out of this deck? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Not you. <laughs> Them. <laughs> Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let go of control issues. Flirting. You're going to be flirting with this person. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime playfulness there's a lot about flirting here the two of you reconnecting um getting to know each other again soulmate yes this is your soulmate forgiving and learning forgiving each other learning about the changes you've both made um trust the situation is calling for blah, blah, blah. the situation is calling for you to have trust 
and getting to know each other again. <laughs> That's magic. That's magic. Healing family issues on the bottom after a time of separation. So my friends, I'm going to leave it there. That was, I was not expecting that. I'm sending you lots of love and light. I hope you have a fabulous day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.